A century ago, an official announcement in Brooklyn made the existence of a polio epidemic a frightening reality. In the United States, the 1952 polio epidemic was the worst in the nation's history, with nearly 58,000 cases reported. 3,000 people died, and more than 21,000 were paralyzed. But by 1955, a life-saving vaccine began making a difference. Today, polio is something people know only from history books. A similar story can be told of measles, an infectious disease that caused 2.6 million deaths worldwide in 1980, but only a quarter as many 10 years later after a vaccine had been introduced. In the year 2000, measles as an epidemic disease was eliminated in the United States due to vaccinations. But now, it's in the news again. Here in New York City tonight, authorities have declared a public health emergency amid this alarming spike in the number of measles cases. New York City officials are ramping up the fight to stop measles from spreading throughout Brooklyn. City officials declared it a public emergency. Measles is back with more than 100 confirmed cases in the U.S. so far this year. Now to new fears about the growing measles outbreak, a state of emergency has been declared in Washington state as the number of confirmed cases climbs to 35. I'm Dr. Alan Kadish. 100,000 people worldwide died from measles last year. Unfortunately, in many communities in the United States and throughout the world, an anti-vaccination movement has developed based in part upon the hoax that the measles vaccine can cause autism. A recent study of 600,000 children proved without any doubt that there is no relationship between the measles vaccine and autism. There is no reason not to vaccinate your children. The Turo College and University system has five medical schools and many other schools that train healthcare professionals. Part of our mission is to educate not only our students, but to educate the community. Please contact us if we can provide experts who will explain why vaccinations are crucial and why the measles outbreak must be stopped. Please heed this call. You don't want your children or other children to become sick. Help us help you make measles a disease of the past.